Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost as if being a garbage human being has consequences. You ever hear of the expression there, Johnny Somali, your past comes back to haunt you? Well, what plays out here is an example of exactly that. So we have ourselves the following from Fearbuck. Johnny Somali and his cameraman were robbed, jumped, and beaten in Israel when recognized by a group of people. Wow, it's almost as if actions have consequences, eh, ladies and gentlemen? Now, I want to also clarify this in case there's any misunderstandings or assumptions being drawn up here. I do not advocate for violence. However, what I do advocate for is consequences, especially if you are going to be a degenerate piece of shit like Johnny Somali. Like, we have covered this clown several times on our channel. There are other channels that have covered this clown in multiple videos, and his antics are very well documented. He travels around to different places and tries to elicit negative reactions from the locals in order to get more attention towards his content. And of course, he would try to make excuses and try to shift blame off of himself, but nah, fam, it don't work like that. You are the one that is being a shitty person, and guess what? You are the one that's got to pay the piper. Now, I understand that things can be taken too far. However, it goes both ways. The fact that Johnny Somali has gotten to this point indicates that he himself has taken things on his end way too far. And I'm going to show an example of that shortly after we get through showing this clip, which I'm going to be doing so right now. I don't want to talk to your girlfriend. I don't want to talk to your girlfriend again. Hey, my friend! Ain't nobody wanna, ain't nobody wanna talk to your girlfriend. My friend! My friend! Bro, bro, what is this? Why do you have this? You snitch! What is this? Snitch! Bro, what is this? Bro, back the, bro, back up. Bro, bro, back this guy. Bro, relax. Snitch! Back up, back up. We're gonna have a problem or what? Why does he have this? We're gonna have a problem tonight or what? Back up from us. Back up from us. Are there any problems tonight or what? Yeah, yeah, I wanna ask bro, you bro, can we stop, bro? Why, we already, why, why you snitch on we me? We talked enough. Why are you snitch on me? you guys cut my head. I don't give a fuck. If you guys wanna get, bro, we're why done with it. It's me? over, it's over. Why you snitch it's on me? It's over, it's over. I don't give a fuck if it's over or not. Why you snitch on me, nigga? We're not starting this right now. We're not starting this right now. I wanna ask you We're not starting this right now. We're not starting this right now. Why you snitch on me? We're not starting this right now. We're not starting this you right now. You come to my hood and you snitch on me? No, bro, bro. chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. Chill out. Why are you grabbing me? Why are you running for? Relax. Why are you snitch on me? Relax, relax, why you relax, on me? bro. I don't want no problem. So, so why you snitch on me? I don't want me? no problem. I didn't say nothing about you. That's why I'm not for me, nigga. I don't want no problem, bro. Bro, help me, help me, bro. Jelly Bunny! Relax, they bring your problem, bro. Jelly Bunny! Alright, brother. Jelly. Bro, oh, yo, stop. Chill out, chill out. Yo, chill out, bro, bro. bro. Okay, let's just what, talk, bro. So let's just. Yo, what's up, bro? yo, what are you doing? Just talk. Just talk, bro. Yo, bro, what the fuck? Bro, what the? Come on, Bob. I'm not filming anything. Oh fuck! Hey, don't touch me, man. Hey. Oh fuck. Again, I don't advocate for any violence. However, actions have consequences, and consequences come in all forms of shapes and sizes. Okay, so now let's get to the example that I had alluded to earlier in this video. So we have ourselves Design59 saying, it's because he sexually harassed a female Israeli officer in public to the point where he got himself arrested. He has a special gift for finding a way to piss off entire countries wherever he goes. And of course, it is a quote tweeted response to Daily Loud who says, popular streamer Johnny Somali arrested by Israeli police for harassing an Israeli female officer. Yes. Oh, you a bad bitch, I swear to God. You a bad bitch, I'll take you to dinner. I swear to God, I swear to God, I'll change your life. I'll change your life, baby. Baby, I'll change your life, I promise you. You a bad bitch right here. 
I changed your life, baby girl. You ain't gotta work for these niggas no more. Bitch, I changed your life. I'm on the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. I'm in the sidewalk. What is it? Okay, 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 I'll go, I'll go. What the fuck? Okay, let's go. I'll be there. 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 I'll be USA, USA. I'm from America, USA. My phone, my phone, my phone. Talento. 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 So when he's not traveling from country to country being racist, he is also sexually harassing individuals as well. Definitely a model type streamer you got there, Rumble. And here's a little something else that pisses me off about Johnny Somali is the fact that this individual here is single-handedly ruining travel to other countries, and let me explain why. So, as an example, let's say Japan, okay? I want to visit Japan one day, but because of this jackass's antics, they're probably gonna look down on foreigners that are simply there for a visit, for a vacation, and now he's doing this type of shit here in a different country, that being Israel. But you know, one of these days, his mouth and his actions are going to write out a check that his ass can't cash, no matter how much begging, crying, and throwing up that he does in the face of the consequences that he has no choice but to take on. One of these days, he's going to get a very big receipt that he cannot run away from, and it's going to cost him permanently. I straight up do not like this clown, and the fact that he even has a platform in the first place to continue to to do these antics and let me also add a little something else in as well okay this caveat is also pretty important you know there's likely a lot of younger viewers that watch his streams and they're probably going to be you know under the impression that doing this type of shit is cool that it's hip it's going to get you attention and stuff like that nah here's the thing ladies and gentlemen especially to all the little jimmies and johnnies that are watching this video you don't ever do this type of shit, okay? Let me give you guys a very basic yet important lesson to take away from this. Actions have consequences. Do not be a bad person. You F around, you find out. Let this here serve as a lesson of what never to do and what never to be like, okay? Do not be like Johnny Somali, otherwise it's going to cost you and... I don't know what it will cost you, but it will be something that you can't run from. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. What are your guys' thoughts overall about the situation? And what do you think about my takes? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? Either way, I love hearing back from you amazing legends in the comments down below. And that's it here for the video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you for your time as well in viewing this video. Have yourself a damn good one, you beautiful people. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to others. Always stay humble. Don't be like the dipshit known as Johnny Somali. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next one.